want some sort of guarantee that you'll form a popular government. We have belabored this long enough. If you do not intend to keep your end of the bargain, there are those who will. I want your minor blasted right out of the sky. Begin firing sequence. What are you doing, Mark? Dispatch, we've taken a hit! Taxi driver, taxi driver. Can you read me? Come in, taxi driver. reached a grim anniversary this week. The civil war that ended its third year with no end in sight. All attempts to mediate the warring factions and the foreign mercenaries have failed. Until 40 months ago, Kampali was ruled by the iron hand of strongman Hale Jomata. After he has deposed, it hoped for a democratic state arose only to fade in the ensuing years of strife. But now with the battlefield deadlock, rumors abound that a secret agreement has been reached in Geneva so that Jamata can return to dictate a peace. Today at the United Nations, the Soviet delegate accused the United States of conspiring with Jamata to accomplish just that. The American delegation responded by pointing out that the Soviets more than anyone had manipulated the Kampali war. The American delegate further added that if the United States took any action, the Kampali situation, it will do so purely in its own interest. are we doing this? You know, as well as I do, the decision was made in the high up in the State Department. Neither of us can do anything about it. Maybe you can't, but I can't. Sam. Sorry, Leonard, but if I can't find that helicopter, you can't find me. Sam, stop fooling around. This isn't like you. Neither is putting a dictator like Jamata back in power, either. Sam, please cut it out. Now look over there. Now, no matter what you and I think of Jamada, he's the only one with enough power and influence to stop that civil war. All right, all right, all right, all right, right. I'll do it. Why do I have to sneak him off in a helicopter? Arrange a truce. Jamada is the truce. So we have to get him to the capital immediately and secretly before they have second thoughts about his return. Yeah, these aerial studies you're doing will be of tremendous help in charting animal migration. Zoological Society is glad to have you. Here he comes. Mr. Jamata? It must be Driscoll. This is Sam Casey. He'll be flying at a Kampali. Shall we leave? Uh, Mr. Jamata, on behalf Mr. of Mr. Driscoll, government. please, let us dispense with the formalities. My people have been awaiting my return for three years. Well, then another moment or two won't matter. You know, the United States spent months in Geneva to secretly negotiate your return to Kampali. Now, for that, we expect... What you expect does not matter. I have the right to lead my people. One does not barter what is his. We're not talking about bartering. We're talking about simple human rights. We want some sort of guarantee that you'll form a popular government. Guarantees? When I accepted your support, I did not accept your meddling in my internal affairs. Kampali's internal affairs. They're one and the same. Adrisco, we have belabored this long enough. My people are waiting. May we leave? Of course now. If you do not intend to keep your end of the bargain, there are those who will. The Soviet, for example. 
You better go. Have a safe flight, Sam. Thank you, Leonard. completely bypassed that minefield. Went right around it. They had to know it was there. Yeah. Well, we warned the farmers to stay out of the field, and then they tell the nationalists. Well, I've got a solution for that. Next time, don't tell the farmers. Colonel, will you Hello. look at this? Jamata. So that's what they were doing in Geneva. I can't believe the other side gave in and brought him back. No, that checks. These people haven't got the stomach for this kind of war. They're gonna welcome him into their capital with open arms. Well, we've still got the best army. No, only because they spend more time fighting each other than they do fighting themselves. But Jamada will change it. He will unite them. Then, we can stand and fight them and lose. Or, we can surrender and stand trial. Stand trial? Oh, yeah, they do that nowadays with men like us. No, I want Jamada blasted right out of the sky. Right now. Yes, sir. started it. Listen, Jamada, it's my job to fly you back to the capital, not listen to your particular version of history. I forgot. You Americans always have such a hard time with the truth. Truth is, if it weren't for us Americans, you wouldn't be here right now. You're not exactly fighting your way back to the jungle, are you? It's common knowledge that your intercept group funded my enemies and supplied arms to the rebels. You really believe that, huh? Maybe I'm wrong about intercept, but perhaps... Ah, yes. Perhaps it was the CIA. Looks like a helicopter, Sergeant. Target's in range. Bearing 160 degrees. Good. Begin firing sequence. Radar's locked in. This is our arm. Casey, I'm a man whose time has come. Destiny has pointed the way. Return to Kampala, she says. Commencing countdown. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. 
But I do not relish the task of leadership. But if I have to... Uh-oh, look out. What's wrong? Your destiny just took a turn for the worse. Missiles! What are you doing, man? You're flying right into the ground! That's right. If I get low, they can't hit us! What's happening? Sir, over there below the south slope. All right, let's get down there. Now, I want Yamada and his party. I don't want any survivors. Good, then give me a hand, because I'm stuck. Your leg, is it broken? No, I don't think so, it's just Pib. Do what you can do down there. All right. It's no good. All right, let's both try pushing from this side, then. Oh! Does not want to move. Someone's coming. Soldiers. Nationalists. Uh, white. Mercenaries. Oh, come on, get this thing off of me. No, it's taking too long. And they're getting too close. What are you doing? I'm afraid you won't need these anymore. Hey, Jamada! Jamada, come back here! Side, Colonel. All right, I came right on down through here. Checking on both sides of this path. The crash might have thrown the bodies clear. I want to sit inside that cockpit.
First aid kit's missing. Might have fallen out. Or been taken. <clears throat> Come here, give me a hand with this. Pull. <clears throat> Hold it. That's blood. A lot? No, I spilled more shaven. Jamada's out there. And the pilot, someplace. We're just gonna have to keep looking till we find them. Go back to the base camp, put together every troop you can get your hands on. On the double. Yes, sir. All right, you men, let's move out. Go, oh, go! Oh. Killed you with my own hands. I don't believe you. I don't believe you, Jamada. You almost killed me back there running off to save your own neck. What I did, I did for my country, not for myself. How convenient. They're one in the same. What was the point of both of us being captured? When fate demands it, such sacrifices are necessary. Of course, you would not understand that. No, not when the sacrifice is me, I don't. Well, here you are, you have escaped. And that could be most useful. Now we have to go to the capital Overland, and you will be very useful. Come. Wait, I don't... That's all you've got to say to me is come? I really ought to let you just go strolling along right into their hands. Now, what do you mean by that? The mercenaries. They know you're here, Jamada. They're out there looking for you. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, 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 Jamada. I heard them talking about it while I was hiding. They must realize what I will do to them once I regain power. Oh, yes. They're looking for me. Well, for us, unfortunately. Well, we cannot get to the capital with them on our heels. Well, hey, I'm open to suggestions. The mountain district is 50 kilometers from here. There, the headman is one of my strongest supporters. He will give us a car, food, and an escort. Okay, sounds all right. You know how to get there? Well, of course. Wait a minute, you got a razor in that bag? I think I have, yes. That's good, because when we make camp, the beard's got to go. What? This is my trademark. This is how my people know me. So do your enemies, Jamada. All right, Casey. But do it your way. But I'm going to be waiting. Waiting to see you fall on your face. Don't hold your breath, Jamada. <laughs> Mr. Driscoll, you were right. 
I monitor the mercenaries' radio channel. We're searching for two men. And you about to survive the crash, too. I guess so. But how did you know your man did? A hunch. Well, as near as I can figure it, they came down here near the mountain district. That's supposed to be Jamada's stronghold. It's my bet he'll lead Sam there and try to get help from his supporters. Can you get me the State Department in Washington? I can signal them. Well, do it. Tell them I want authorization to cross the border and search for Casey and Jamada. Tell them I have a good idea of their location. And also tell them that I'm not the only one who has. See, he was alone up to here. Then somebody joined him, and they both took off in that direction. Yeah, toward the mountain district. Yeah, that checks. This terrain's too tough for the Jeep, so have them take him back through the southern road, meet us at Twin Peaks. I'll put some men out here on foot. You, you, and you, come with me. Yeah. I don't think I recognize myself. Oh, I think the true self still comes shining through, Jamada. Let's just hope your enemies don't recognize you, huh? Yeah. Don't be frightened. Oh, now, you've seen too many movies. <laughs> Listen, they fear humans more than we fear them. Besides, she won't come near us. How do you know it's a she? Oh, you can tell by the roar. So I've noticed you writing in that book before. Was it some kind of diary? No. It's a program for the future of Kampali. Reforms that I will follow after I take office. Mind if I take a look at it? If you wish. Yeah. Reform number one, all land to be vested in the people. By people, what do you mean, the state? The state is my people. Form number two, the National Assembly to be dissolved until further notice. Oh, yes. Because it's full of traitors. And the guilty, they will be tried and sentenced. With judges appointed by you, no doubt. Of course. Reform number three. Twenty-six reforms in all, huh? So far. So far? Very interesting. Yeah, I read a book like that once. No, really? Yeah, it was called 1984. A very glib comparison. Of course, you realize that Orwell was a failed Marxist who became disenchanted with the outcome of the Spanish Civil War. But I, I am a committed populist realist. Oh, by the way, we do know how to read here in Africa. Night, night. Touche. What's better? Lion. Worse. Men.
don't understand why you don't want to kill them. I have my reasons. I'm sure you do. It's because they're white, ain't it? No, Jamada, it's not because they're white. You know, everything in this world doesn't boil down to black or white. Ah, no. Huh? Well, would you mind explaining to me why? I don't think you'd understand. Frisco from your State Department. I decoded it. Contact them again. But, sir, they absolutely refuse to authorize you to go into Kampali. I know what they said, and I won't accept it. Now put me through to them. Yes, sir. Hang in there, Sam. Hang in. Wait a minute, you've been gone for three years. Things could have changed. Not in this district. The head man lives there. Come. They welcome us. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a second. Let's not go anywhere right away. But my people? Yeah, so far the only people I've met were out to kill you. Now, if you've got any friends, I haven't seen them yet. So let's just take it nice and slow. I wouldn't advertise anything if I were you. As you wish. But I assure you, there's no need for caution. Come. found him? No. Adamalo headman. Oh, Jamato's man. When his master fled, the people here, they drove him off. I inherited his house along with his job. Well, I... We're, uh, we're journalists covering the war. Oh, the world seems very interested in Kampali today. Our uh, jeep broke down about ten miles down the road. We were wondering if we borrow a car. There are no cars here. That's impossible. Jamato sent at least a dozen cars and trucks to every district. True. But we did not receive them. Jamato's province chief sold some on the black market and kept the rest. Ten miles, you say? Yes. A long walk in the midday heat? Come, you must rest. Then eat. Yes, wait, please. You say you gentlemen were journalists? That's right. Perhaps you can answer this question then. Is the rumor true that Yamata is returning? I don't know. We hadn't heard that. I hope that is all it is, a rumor. No one wants him back. I find that very hard to believe. I mean, we both covered the election for our newspaper. And if I'm not mistaken, Yamata received the largest vote in the history of Kambali. Yes? And then he made himself president for life. Well, I'm sure he had his reason. But you must agree, he did a great deal for Kampali. To Kampali. He doubled their wages, didn't he? You mean he printed worthless money. And he extended our boundaries to the shores of the Lampura River. By starting a war with our neighbor? We had a son who did not return from that campaign. I am sure that Jomana did what he thought was best for his country. I remember a saying I was taught. The road to hell is paved with good intention. Shimata left a very long road behind him. Soldiers, come in this way. Mercenaries? Yes. Get the children inside. Will you hide us? Yes, please. Get to the wall, please, quickly. Are you 
the headman here. I have that honor. Right, we're looking for two men. One is a native, one is a European. There's been no one here. They were last seen headed in this direction. Yeah, are check the grounds. You two round back. This is a small district. If there were strangers here, I would know. You would, huh? But more importantly, would you tell me? Of course. Do you know the village of Little Falls? I knew it. It's a pile of rubble now, because they lied to me. Yes, we heard about it here. And still, we have not seen the men you seek. There's no one inside, Colonel. <laughs> What was that? Hauser, take half the squad and search north. I'll take the other half and go east and come around and back and link up at Three Rivers. I should get there by 2,400 hours. If I'm not, just stand by. All right, Colonel. Move out! Thank goodness. You better go now. Hurry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Try and make Jamar understand. You know? I recognize him almost immediately. And you were still willing to help us. Why? I do not love the tyrant, but far worse has come in his place. Even Jamato is better than that. I only pray that his exile has taught him something. Goodbye. Goodbye. I must make a note. Now? Yes, while it's still fresh in my mind. I learned something from that family back there. It's about time. I admit it. I overlooked something very important in my program. You see, I must have full control of the press and the broadcasting. You're kidding me. That's what you learned. You see, I could not understand where they got their ideas from. But it come to me back there on the trail. It's the lies of their own newspapers that poison their minds against me. I don't believe you. What do you mean? Jamada, those were your people back there. And they poured their guts out to you. Why didn't you listen to them? Why should I? They're uninformed. Doesn't anything ever get through that thick skull of yours? That head man back there recognized you. Yeah. He was still willing to put his life on the line for you. Now, why should that surprise you? Haven't I told you time and time again that I am the people? You know what surprises me? Is that they're willing to forgive you after everything you've done to them. That surprises me. I have done nothing. You heard them say themselves. It was the province chiefs and the others. Oh, come on. That's easy. Blame your entire corrupt administration on everyone but yourself. And then write in that little gospel of yours. Add more misery to your people. Let me tell you, this gospel is the answer to all of Kampali's problems. Do you understand? Lion just can't face the truth, can he? Uh, Sitting right across the table from me, but he can't see it. Uh, I do. Did you get a good look at their faces? Your people hate you, Jamada. You could have choked on your food back there and they would have applauded. That's quite enough! <laughs> all right, Leonard, I hope you'll understand. Jamara! Guys, you know who that is? Jamada. Even without the beard, I recognized him. 
You're not with him? Are you kidding me? Would I be fighting him if I was with him? Why, you lying jackal! Hey, all right, ease up. Hey, I'm in the same army as you. What unit? Lafarge's. You know, the Belgian, up north. I got separated during a skirmish. I had you right from the start. You'd say or do anything to save your own white hide! Hey, come on, game off! Hey! So help me. So help me, I'm gonna kill you. I swear I'll kill you! All right. Tie up the native. Give this guy some food, but don't let him have a weapon. We're gonna meet with the colonel later on tonight. I'll let him work this one out. Thanks. The State Department. Final reply, take no action whatsoever. Sorry. Give me a jeep ready. I've just had orders from my State Department. They want me to go in and rescue them. Guys, what do you think of the lion at Kampali now? Lion? He looks more like a pussycat. Yeah, one that's used up all his nine lives. Saunders. It's almost midnight. Let's keep an eye out for Colonel Brighton. What have you got planned for me, huh? We're getting out of here. Hang on. Escape? No. I don't trust you. Whether you trust me or not, the ropes are loose and I'm getting out of here. Wait a minute. I'm going with you. One of the Belgians men up north, huh? There is no Belgian. But you're both gonna go out like real soldiers. Tomorrow morning at dawn. You didn't fool me for one minute. What kind of trick was that supposed to be, huh? It was no trick. I'm telling you, I was trying to get you out of here. I just pretended to be on their side to gain some time, that's all. Do you expect me to believe that? I don't care what you believe, but that's the truth. What did you hope to accomplish by freeing me? The same thing I've been trying to accomplish for two days now. My mission, which is to get you back to the capital. I'd hardly expect an opportunist like you to say anything else. Watching you cower beside me in front of a fighting squad will immeasurably enrich my final moments. And they'll be here in a few minutes. Out of this thing. 
yet. Oh, not another one of your tricks. Look, save it for your white brothers out there. They'll find it very amusing. Listen to me. Please, I'm telling you, I could get us both out of here alive. I almost believe you. person in the world I ever thought would find out about this. What? Hi, Jamada. I'm gonna have to trust you with some classified information. I need your word that you'll never reveal what you're about to see. You'd accept my word? I think so, yes. <laughs> All right. All right. You have it. Captain nearby. We could be in the capital in 40 minutes. Excellent. Let's go. Mr. Jamada, aren't you forgetting something? I don't think so. What? You realize what this man's been through for you? That's his job. Now come, please. My people are waiting. I don't believe him. You're getting used to it, Leonard. of Kampali, stand by for an important address by Hale Jomata, President of the Nation, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. During my exile, Kampala went through three years of wars and heartache, a crucible that can change any nation. Kampala changed, and for the better. I, too, have changed. My return here was long and arduous, but I was not alone. I had a companion, a young American that showed me something amazing. And he never even thanked you, did he? Something I can do. Nope. But even more amazing. The plane is waiting, sir. This young American taught me, he taught me something about myself. Yes, I have returned, but not to stay. As of today, I resign my position as interim president pending new elections. And if you, the people, want me to return as president of a democracy, then, and only then, will the lion truly return. Older, wiser, humbler. You have just heard from the former president of the nation, commander-in-chief of the yes, armed forces. I think you just got to thank you.